Hello, this is Patrick with Lone Wolf Software. This is a quick little video about our product, Time Saver Wolf, a document text management program. Organizes all your text data and all your documents, files on your computer. It's one program that will organize literally all the files and documents, text data, files, everything that you have that provides information you know, to you in your life. And you can organize all this information in one program. So it's extremely powerful. But really a simple concept. That's something that uh, you know, I think everybody could use because um, how often do you have trouble finding a particular file, folder, or you know, some information in some document that you need and you have to spend you know, a lot of time just trying to figure out where you left it or where you put it. Well, this program will solve that problem. It'll keep everything organized, organized for you so things are easy to find. So what you see right now on your screen is the Time Saver Wolf interface. And, it's split up into uh, three sections. On the left, you have a category tree. Let me expand that. You expand it here. This basically is a tree that you create. Um, you create your own categories and groups, and you can create subfolders and subcategories, etc. And in the middle is an item section. So you actually add, we add an item for each subcategory, and then you have a text editor here on the right side if you want to write something or add some text data for those items. Now, you can also link documents and everything else. I'm going to show you how to do that. For instance, if I click on, let's say, the recipes, uh, we'll click on Italian recipes that we have in the program right now. This is just an example of some of the Italian recipes that we have. And you can click on any of these recipes. And uh, this recipe here, if you look down here, is the link documents section. These are some link documents uh, has to, that go with the recipe. You can link almost any kind of document, access file, Excel files. Uh, Word docs, anything, PowerPoint, uh, just about anything that you have, any kind of document file, images, you can link to any of these items. Very powerful. So I think what we'll do today is that we'll just create a, a quick little category and organize something just to show you how uh, you can do almost anything with this. It's really the only limits your imagination. So we'll create a new category. I think today we'll do, uh, how about something like um, financial? So you add a new category, just simply click on the little folder button there, and we'll type in financial. And now you see we have a financial category. So let's separate this and organize it even greater. We'll add, click on the little subfolder icon, and we'll, add, we'll organize this into assets. And we'll create another one here. Let's call it uh, debts. And now you see we have assets and debts that are organized under the sub or root folder financial. So you can org you can uh, even go fur further with this. You can create another sub subcategory to even organize it further. So for assets, let's say we create another subfolder and we'll call it um, um, electronics. Now let's go with photographic equipment. So we create a little photographic equipment here. Now let's say we want to add some of our photographic equipment to keep track of what we own and how much it's worth. So you just click on this little add button here and we'll add the uh, our Nikon camera. And we might want to add some extra information here and say that it's a D8, whoops, a D800. Let me just move this down a little bit. You can add anything you want. This is the text editor. You can change the font, the color, everything. It's a rich text editor, so you can pretty much, you know, put it, put the text in and how and and coordinate it or format it any way that you want. So we'll call D eight hundred, and we'll say that this is worth twenty eight hundred dollars. Now, so we have this item listed under our assets, photographic equipment, and let's say we have a receipt that we've scanned in. So if we want to link a document to it, we can link maybe a receipt that we've scanned in. So let's go to our Nikon image here, and we'll link that. And you see we're just using the linker. We're going to link it in the link documents folder. So now you see we have the Nikon um, linked file, linked image here of the receipt. Now you can actually just double click on this, and now you can see here is the receipt. Um, right here. So we have the receipt for the camera right here. Now let's get out of this. 
So we've already linked one thing. We can you can link anything. You might want to link a uh, you might want to link a, a Nikon PDF to it, like maybe a manual. So let's say if we go into um, we'll add a different uh, we'll add something different. We might want to link a uh, let's see let's see if we go to the uh, we might want to link a D800 technical guide. So we'll open that and we'll link that and click OK. So now we have the technical guide PDF that's linked to it and you can just double click on this and you'll see that we have the the technical PDF linked. So you can see that it's uh, very powerful and you can link as many things as you want. So then maybe that's we might want to add another asset category. We might, might want to add a category for your jewelry and you can link in receipts and images, photographs of those. So you can just, you know, add, build, a, build this category up as you, uh, however you like, however you desire. And let's say we'll go to debts and we might want to create, um, let's say we want to put in something about our home loan. So we just enter home loan. And we might want to say that it's a 30-year mortgage. At uh, six percent, you could add anything you want in here. I mean, you can add the whole contract. You can go and copy the contract and paste it in here if you want. So you know that, that's something you might want to do. So, for example, um, we'll save this, and maybe you want to link a document to this. So we'll go to let's see. Here's the home loan. Where's the home loan? So we'll link a home loan file to it. And we might want to add a uh, might want to add a car loan to our debts. So we might want to put the car loan in there. And we'll say it's for a Ford Mustang. Again, enter any any information you want. Um, 2015 Ford Mustang. And let's say we want to link a document to that, so we might want to um, link the uh, hmm, the car loan PDF. So we'll open that, we'll link that, and now we have the car the car loan PDF. You could, for example, you could open the car loan PDF. You could just copy some information out of it if you want. This. And you could just paste it in here very simply with one click. So now you have even your car loan is in information. Save it. So this is just a quick example of some of the things that you can do with Time Saver Wolf. Now you know you can, we also have, for instance, we have famous quotes from people here that are entered into the program. This is a, actually a sample database to get. We have birthdays that you can enter. This isn't a rich text editor, so you can create tables things like that. Time Saver Wolf's just got a, a huge amount of power and it's just a great organizational tool on your computer. And any document that you create in anything, you can just simply enter it in Contact Wolf, link it to whatever category that you've created, and you're going to be able to find it in literally seconds. You won't have to look through your computer or where did I put this. It's just a very simple way to keep things organized and to um, make things just a lot easier to find. We have a few other options in this program. We have a stopwatch utility, so if you want to log your time, for instance, if you're working hourly, you can actually log your time here and um, do things like that. It's just a great, it's just a great, easy to use program. Huge amount of uses. We use it here at Lone Wolf Software every day to organize customer responses and feedback and user uh, comments, just everything. We have it. We have it. It's probably one of our most used programs that we use all, uh, every day. So uh, I should also mention that um, all these small, let me, let me go to something here. We'll go back to, I guess we'll go back to the Italian recipe. You can create tables. You can have bullets. All these things are easily formatted because this is a rich, rich text editor. And if you right click in it, you'll see many of the options that we provide in the rich text editor. Now along the top here you have a bunch of small icons and if you just hover your mouse over them they'll tell you exactly what they do. So you can modify items, you can move categories around, you can move this category up here. Everything is done in the background for you automatically kept, basically everything's kept 
intact for you and managed for you. So you can move categories around, you can rename them. Um, and these are just some of the icons for formatting the text. So that's it, I think, for today. It gives you a quick idea of the power of Time Saver Wolf. And again, really, the only limit to its uses or whatever you can come up with, it's your imagination. We use it for many, many things here at Lone Wolf Software. So thanks for listening, and uh, we'll come out with some more videos in the future, uh, some more videos about Time Saver Wolf to show you some of the other features. Thanks again for listening.